I'm Dr. Steven Shapiro. I'm a board certified dermatologist in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. I teach at University of Miami and I also do uh, clinical studies and I've done a couple of FDA studies. So um, Silfirm X, I, I met Dr. Na about 11 years ago and he showed me a device called Scarlet, which was uh, radio frequency microneedling for skin tightening. So we, I waited in the United States until it was FDA approved um, probably about five years ago. And what I did is I started to use the Scarlet for skin tightening and we saw immediate results for our patients. It was typically one to three treatments and it, it would do almost half of what a facelift would do in some patients. And we were looking for something a little bit more and then we found Silfirm X made by Dr. Na as well. And when we found Silfirm X, we can treat both continuous wave and pulsed wave so we can get the tissue tightening, but we can also do something for background redness and pigmentation. Yes, so, so a classic patient for me would be somebody who's had a facelift in their late 60s, early 70s, but they still have some extra skin because the facelift may have been 10 years ago and they don't want to go through any more surgery. So we found in a patient like that, the extra skin had been removed 10 years earlier, they're about 70 years old, and we can get some really good results for skin tightening in those patients. We've also found patients who want to do um, collagen regeneration periodically. So that's a younger patient and typically their 40s, maybe hitting 50, and we're able to do skin tightening in those patients as well. And then now we have that extra option where we can treat pigmentation and background redness if we're using the same device. So, you know, the, one of the key benefits to Silfirm X is we're able to control the depth of penetration. We're able to control through that and our energies what our uh, target temperature is. And, and most patients, when we're able to treat them with tissue tightening, we don't need anesthesia for most of our patients. And then we take that patient where we got the tissue tightening, and then there are some uh, superficial issues like pigmentation, background redness. We're able to address that as well. So the major part of what I like is our target temperature, our depth of penetration, our skin tightening, but also the additional benefits to pigmentation and background redness, we're able to treat all of these effectively. So, so most effective with Silfirm X, um, poikiloderma, I, I practice in South Florida, so poikiloderma is sun damage where you have increased pigmentation, decreased pigmentation, atrophy or thinning of the skin, and background redness and telangiectasia or blood vessels. So typically we'll target each one of these many years ago. Now we can use one device to target all of it. We can treat the atrophy with skin tightening, we can treat the increased pigmentation and background redness, all with the same device. So Silfirm X, um, as far as complications go, occasionally a patient will get some pinpoint bleeding where they'll get crusting or scabbing for maybe a couple days. I warn patients about this in advance, especially if you're going to be going deeper into the skin, but it always goes away and there's no long-term problems with that. Um, other side effects, some patients hold background redness a little bit longer. So I know when I'm treating the chest area, there are some people who just have more histamine in their skin. They're going to get more redness in their skin. Um, so they'll last a little bit longer. I think my record for background redness is about five days. So my advice to other doctors would be this device plays well with other modalities. So I very commonly use this with other lasers. So I'll do non-ablative um, laser uh, regeneration in combination with the Silfirm X. And very often I can do them in the same treatment session. So I, I, when I talk about RF microneedling, I always talk about temperature, depth of penetration, and the tips. The tips, you know, there's um, insulated and non-insulated tips. So when you compare devices, they are all very different. What I like about this one is this was the original uh, doctor who invented radio frequency with microneedling and also microneedling it, itself. So as I looked into this device and I looked at the um, non-insulated uh, tips of the needles, it, it exhibits what's called the Na effect, named after the inventor, Dr. Na. And, and what I like about that is that the, I'm able to treat the entire depth uh, up to well, my target depth in tissue, but at the same time, I'm able to deliver more energy to the distal tip of, uh, the, of my needle. And for that reason, I'm able to really control the type of tightening and the treatment that I'm trying to perform.